Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. And we're going to be talking about the CW Flash. I stopped watching the Flash because I had life get in the way in the middle of the Savitar season. So when I life stopped getting in the way, I was able to re finish the last se or that season of the Flash. I thought that the Savitar season was very good. But then I stopped watching TV altogether. So, I got curious about The Flash's fourth and fifth season. And these crossovers, like they have been doing, it does get a little bit odd in times. And when they do the crossovers, you basically got to go to a different show to watch the other part of it, and another show to watch another part of it. And like they did with Crisis on Earth X, so I had to go on to a friend's Netflix, watch the, because I don't subscribe to Netflix, I do watch Netflix, I just won't subscribe to it. But, um, I saw that they did Arrow, Supergirls, and all that stuff for the wedding, where the, of Barry and Iris, in season four, and they also brought in Earth X, which is the Nazi Earth, and then they also established that there's 52 Earths, but 53 plus Earth X, which nobody likes, because it's the one where the Nazis won World War II, and got their hands on nukes before then. So yeah, there was that one, and I'm like... <sighs> Plus, it, the character of the Thinker with DeVoe, it's, it was decent, but this, but season four was rife with identity politics, which, as you all know, I find as a cancerous tumor in Hollywood. I mean, they were doing the whole hashtag feminism, and women are so oppressed, and women must be strong women. They even mentioned, we're strong women, hashtag feminism, kind of crap in one of their episodes, Girls Night Out, and I'm like, you know what makes you a strong woman? Not saying you're a strong woman. Not through not words, actions and whatnot. Act strong. Be strong. Don't flaunt strong. And that same go and that goes for men as well. But anyway, they also made Leonard Snart Citizen Cold and uh Earth X into a gay guy, which I don't believe he was ever gay. In Legends or anything. But, you know, whatever. Gotta have representation! They actually hinted at Nora Allen in, C er, in Season 5. She was in Season 4 just flicking around in certain episodes and being all kooky and shit. But Season 5, they actually have her liking a woman who she looks up to and it's like, yeah, really? Okay, whatever. Wasn't done outright, but it was a subtle trope. Season 5 was not as bad as Season 4 was with the identity pol politics crap. I mean, now before any of you guys say, Oh, you're just a sexist with that hashtag feminism or complaint. And it's like, no, I'm not. I'm actually pro first wave feminism. I believe in women equality and women's rights. What I don't believe in is women forcefully taking rights away from others. What I also believe in is the complete and utter destruction of identity politics because the more people embrace identity politics, the more racist and tokenist they're going to become. And I think that they need to completely <laughs> get rid of it. Otherwise, you're only going to make the world a worse place. Now, am I saying you should get rid of uh, women empowerment and stuff? Absolutely not. Just do it the right way. 
do all of this stuff the right way. You have your representation, just don't make it an essential thing. I mean, for crying out loud, you can have a strong female character, but don't make it about the fact that they're female. Just make it about the fact that they're a hero. You know? That's what I've been saying. That's what I've always been saying. Don't make it about their sexual preference, their race, their religion, their gender. Stop making it about that crap. But anyway, back to the Flash stuff. Season 4 was terrible. It was terrible, and I honestly give it, objectively, even the acting was bad, objectively, I give all of that stuff, ugh, 2.5 out of 5. Subjectively, I love The Flash, but I hate identity politics, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Showgoer, who doesn't focus on all that crap, They'll like it, so it's 4 out of 5. Season 5, Nora, West Allen, and them, they had a little bit of, little bit of, and any politics sprinkled without, or throughout, and the whole feelings and stuff, you gotta care more about feelings, and it's like, um, is, are you, I feel like you guys are seriously taking a slap at Ben Shapiro's, uh, stuff. For those of you guys that don't know, Ben Shapiro runs the Daily Wire. And he has a very famous saying, facts don't care about your feelings. And it's one of those things that I also say, because facts don't care about your feelings. And the fact is, identity politics is an evil practice. So, yeah. I think that Season 5 was better than Season 4, but Season 4 was by far the weakest of all of the seasons. Mainly because it was just very stupid. Some of the stuff was very stupid that they did. I mean, season five could have been better in certain areas. There was one episode where Nora, the daughter of the Flash and them, she comes back from the future so she can meet her father because she was young and he disappeared at the time when she was a kid. Anywho, she, or there's a time, she can run and if she goes really fast, she can actually reverse time. But not by going back in time, but reversing time. And I'm like, interesting. Interesting. And there's an episode where she continues to reverse time so people will stop dying and whatnot. And they change things and whatnot. It had a good twist. And I'm like, hmm, but overall, I'll give season five, objectively, the acting suffers in this one. The acting really does suffer. Season five, I will give it a 3.5 out of five. It's better than season four. Subjectively, I will give it a four out of five, season five, and... Showgoer, it is a 4.5 out of 5. Because it is entertaining to watch. Except that I didn't like what they did with Godspeed. Godspeed should be the villain in the next season. And it should definitely not be the kind of Godspeed that was in the future of Nora Allen's time. I like how they tapped into more of the lore. The negative speed force and such. And Eobard Thawne's back as Reverse Flash. So, yeah. It was a decent season. But I'm not liking how they're continuing to do the whole identity politics thing. Hey, kitty, get out of there. Sorry. I have two kittens here. Anyway, that's the video. If you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Catch you all in the next one.